Ashley Moser explains from the facility in Park City. They hope lawmakers will help them attract even more business to the state. Well, those 40 productions include feature films, commercials, music videos, independent films, network television. And right now, it's home to Yellowstone. You've probably heard of this production. Ranching is the only business where the goal is to break even. It's no secret. Shows like Paramount Network's Yellowstone, starring Kevin Costner. That's the world of Yellowstone. Bring big business to Utah. It's generating between 20 and $30 million a season. And they've been here three seasons. Just do the math on that. Utah Film Studios Marshall Moore says the work they do here. This is business. It's show business. The building just off of the I-40 Park City Camas exit houses three 15,000 square foot sound stages, a facility unlike any other in the state. What this studio has done and the ownership has done is create an environment of sustainability that was much needed in this market. So the standoff is when the contractors come around and kind of flank the cops. Here's writer and director Taylor Sheridan at the facility <laughs> as actors rehearse a shootout scene for Wind River. And when productions like these choose Utah... We offer a 25 cents back on each dollar left in the state of Utah for Utah goods and services, Utah cast and crew. If it's not spent in Utah, it does not get a rebate. But Utah Film Studios owner Ryan Crandall fears what's in place right now isn't enough. Our incentive is lacking at the moment. We turn away, or Utah turns away, about $90 million of business a year. He says productions will end up in other states with better perks and is working to get the support from Utah lawmakers to change that. We need them to kind of have our vision and our passion of why it's important. They hope with that support to add three more sound stages, attracting more big projects. And their current production, Yellowstone, just finished season three. No word yet on season four. Of course, we'll be watching for that. In Park City, Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News. Ashley, thank you. Well, it's Friday date night, and dozens of daddy-daughter duos gathered in South Salt Lake for a night of dancing.